I think about quilt patterns as a kind of narrative structure, really similar to the different kinds of narratives you can have when you're watching a movie. When I'm making a new film quilt or video quilt, I think about the material I'm using. Sometimes I have material that I want to honor, sometimes I have material that I want to critique, and then I find a quilt pattern that fits the kind of story I want to tell with the material. One of the main themes in my work has to do with crediting women whose creative work has been overlooked and often left out of histories of art and film. I chose a scene from a film, The Curse of Quan Guan, when the Far East mingles with the West. It's considered this incredible treasure because it's so historically significant, because it was the first ever Asian American feature film and one of the first feature films directed by a woman anywhere in the world. So much of what I had learned about early cinema was that all the first production companies were created by men, but here is this woman who wrote and directed her own story. In this scene of the Chinese American bride is preparing for a traditional tea ceremony, which would happen before a wedding. The reason I chose this scene is because it's beautifully shot, beautifully framed, where the bride is looking into the mirror and her face is framed in this very modern way. I took the framing of the bride's face as the inspiration for the center square in the quilt, and then I built out on either side around that, working exactly how the film is edited. To me, it felt like an incredible historic artifact that here was a first-generation Asian-American woman, director, producer, writer of this film, that this was her vision and her story. So Screen Credit has these three channels, like the three layers of a quilt. And for that piece, I was really thinking about how important film editors are, how many women have worked on film. And then I was also thinking more broadly about all the women who have made incredible textiles whose names aren't known. I used the scissors as a cutting device throughout the piece, moving from this representation of a woman to representation of the act of cutting fabric in quilting, the act of cutting film and filmmaking, and my own actions as the maker of the piece. Would you call my work quilts? Would you call it art? Would you call it film? I don't know, but I think it it's sort of like a Venn diagram that encompasses all of those things.